All right, so you know this video is very um very unplanned, right? But I, I it needs to be talked about because um it is very annoying, right? Uh so <clears throat> What I want to talk about is, by the way, I just want to say, this gameplay is old gameplay. All the gameplay you're going to see is old gameplay. Like, this is when I was learning Persona 4. I, I didn't really have footage to record it for this video. So I'm just using some old gameplay because, um, I, I don't want to focus on the gameplay here. I want to, I want to have a little discussion here, all right? Because, uh, it's annoying, right? But whenever this debate comes up, it is incredibly annoying, right? If you were on Twitter, right? Uh, and you play Call of Duty or you play fighting games, right? Every time a new Call of Duty, Call of Duty comes out, these two, these two uh, communities intersect, right? Um, because there's the 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 debate of skill-based matchmaking, right? Every single year, and uh. It's really annoying, right? Because I am somebody who plays both, right? I play fighting games, I, comp I even compete in some. Uh, and I've played every single Call of Duty since Black Ops 1, right? That's 12 years. No matter how bad the Call of Duty was, I bought it and I played it, right? And for how long I played it, depended on how good the game was, right? But I still played them. I played every single one, right? Here's the... Uh, this debate's really annoying, right? Because... Uh, accounts like Scrub Quotes and some big name uh, people in the FGC. I don't want to name people. I don't want to call people out. I'm not trying to attack them, right? But it's very annoying because there are some um, pretty, you know, pretty big names in the fighting game community that want to talk about skill-based matchmaking, right? But here's the problem. These people do not play Call of Duty, right? That's the problem. These people do not play Call of Duty, and if they do play Call of Duty, they probably aren't very good, right? And, and it frustrates me, right? And I, I'm not trying to attack these people, right? But these people think that skill-based matchmaking is as simple as, oh, evenly matching you against somebody of your skill level. No. No, that's not how it works at all, right? If that were the problem, would people still complain? Uh, maybe, right? Maybe that would. Maybe people would still complain if it evenly matched you against people. But the problem here is, um, it doesn't evenly match you against people, right? It's called skill-based matchmaking, right? And it sounds like that's what it's supposed to do, but that's not what it does, right? And uh, you know, in games like Apex, right? Not Call of Duty, but Apex, there have been there, there was evidence, I believe, um, I remember seeing this a couple months ago, so, uh, maybe it was proven false or something, but, uh, I used to, uh, play Apex pretty heavy, I hit Diamond in rank, I was, I was going pretty hard in Apex, <coughs> excuse me, and, uh, anyways, uh, when that happened, there was a, uh, some pretty good research that came out that showed that skill-based matchmaking was directly against you in order to keep you playing, right? They found that if a player lost multiple games in a row and then won one game and then lost a few more and then won a game, that player is way more likely to keep playing instead if they won three games in a row. Which is true. In my experience, I would say if I lost, lost one... Lost, lost, one. I would probably keep playing more if I won, won, won. And then I just got off the game, because I'd be like, I don't want to lose now, right? Uh, again, this is Apex, this isn't COD. Um, and I don't know if this has been proven not true, but at the time, from what I saw, I remember there was some pretty good evidence there um, that EA has been spending money on making this, and I think they even pat patented it. Patented it? They got a patent for it. So... It was it was some it was some pretty expensive uh, systems and stuff they were making in place. So skill based matchmaking, uh, you know, kept you on the game. It wasn't to keep you evenly matched. It was to keep you playing the game, right? Um, and in Call of Duty's case, right, 
Um, I did play Apex, right? I, I was an Apex player. I still play it sometimes. But as a Call of Duty player for 12 years, and you got to understand, I was a small child when I first started playing COD, right? That game is a, like literally a part of my DNA, right? I played every single Call of Duty game ever made, and I started playing them when Black Ops 1 came out 12 years ago, right? So I was here for the peak of COD and the fall of COD, and I never stopped playing, alright? Um, whether uh, I'm a moron for buying uh, these games, that's a different debate, alright? But, as someone who has a say on this topic, right, there's a lot of fighting game players who think they say, oh, you're just bad at the game, you want free wins, um, there's nothing wrong with getting matched with someone the same level as you, right? Um, and then accounts like Scrub Quotes will make fun of these big Call of Duty streamers that are complaining about skill-based matchmaking, right? And then you'll, see, you'll, you'll always go to replies, and you'll see all these replies of these fighting game players who just think they're better than everyone because they play fighting games and not pew-pew shooty games. Um... Which I always thought was a really weird mindset. And you, 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 all of these people speak like experts, but they really don't play the game. And if they do play the game, chances are they play Call of Duty Warzone, which is not... That's not the subject at hand here. Warzone has nothing to do with it, right? Um, and I, I don't really play Warzone either. So, anyways. Here's the thing, right? Um... Skill-based matchmaking is not, oh, you're doing good in a match, let's match you up with people who are doing the exact same as you. That's not what skill-based matchmaking is, right? Skill-based matchmaking is, you won your last two games, alright, so we're gonna make sure you lose the next one. That's what skill-based matchmaking is. It's not about uh, evening out... Uh, the skill levels in a lobby. It's about evening out your stats. That's pretty much what it is. Um, and it doesn't protect new players at all, okay? People think it protects the casual guy who comes home after a long day of work with his seven children and plays one game of COD. No, it doesn't help that guy, right? Because the problem is, if that guy has a lucky game and he ends up winning... And does slightly okay. He doesn't have to do good. He has to do slightly okay. More likely that guy's going to get thrown into a lobby with someone like me, right? Um, or people way better than me. And that guy's not going to stand a chance. And here's the problem with skill-based matchmaking. That guy will get thrown into a lobby with me, right? Then he'll be placed on my team as I'm sweating to fight... The six other sweaties on the other team, right? Um, people just think, oh, in a fighting game, there's only two people, you know? And you're in a ranked mode. And when you're playing ranked in a fighting game, you get matched up with people who are slightly worse than you, slightly better than you, or the exact same as you, right? There's only... It's not... Ro there's two people you have to worry about. You and the other guy, right? In COD, you have to worry about 12 people... Or 18 people if you're on Ground War. But I'm going to be honest, I don't know if skill-based matchmaking is in Ground War. I don't play Ground War. But there are 12 people in a lobby. That is 12 people that have to worry about skill-based matchmaking, right? And any one of those 12 people could be playing in a party of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, right? So if you have friends and you're playing in a party of 3, right? You could be good at the game, but your two friends could be garbage at the game, right? That doesn't matter, because they're part of your group, and you just soloed an entire lobby, right? So now, for the next game, you're going to have three randoms on your team, who could be bad or good. You're going to have yourself on the team, who is pretty good, and you're going to have two of your garbage friends on the team, right? You automatically lost that game, unless the other team's going through the same thing, right? It has nothing to do about matchmaking uh, your skill level. Because in some cases, it's physically impossible to matchmake your skill level. Because if you're playing with friends, it's not going to work. Right? Um, and that's the problem. Uh, and if you're playing in a, in a group of six people, 
forget about it. Oh my god, if you're playing in a group of six people, it is the, some of the worst game experience you will ever have, right? Because in my case, I would say three or four of my friends are pretty good at the game, right? They're on my level. We can all, we can all, we never go negative um, in, a, in a game. Arcades are always way above positive, right? And then I have some friends, maybe about two, sometimes three, that end up going three and 30, right? You know, eight and 25, right? And because they're playing with us, they get decimated, right? They don't get a chance. And here's the thing, you say, you know, why go, you know, there should be a casual and a rank mode. Call of Duty does not have a rank mode, right? Call of Duty, some Call of Duties have rank modes and they get it three to four months after the game comes out, right? So at that point, literally what's the point? And second of all, rank modes in Call of Duty are extremely limited. Um, if you're a sweaty tryhard who has the best gun in the game, right, with the best loadout, uh, that gun may be banned in ranked. Uh, like, half the guns are banned in ranked, half the perks are banned in ranked, half the kill streaks are banned in ranked, uh, and half the attachments are banned in ranked. So you can't even play the way you want to in ranked. You have to play by these rules. And some sweaty tryhards rather just play casual where they can use the best possible stuff at all times. That's another problem with skill-based matchmaking, is when you do get into those sweaty lobbies, you're forced to use the meta, because everyone else is using the meta. Um, by the way, here's, you know, uh, there's been some Overwatch gameplay on the screen for a while. I know there's no sound. Um, I don't know what happened with that, so, yeah. Um, this is the new, this is the newest shooter, right? And I'm playing some ranked here. Uh, I'm really close to Diamond in this game. So, you, I'm playing some ranked here, right? And this is, this is a game that does not have skill-based matchmaking, right? In ranked, in ranked, this game does not have skill-based matchmaking. And you pummel people. The problem with the ranked in this is that for some reason, you could be playing Overwatch 2, or Overwatch 1 since uh, Overwatch came out, right? Now you're playing Overwatch 2. No matter what your rank is, you can still get matched with people who have never played Overwatch before. Right? This is like, they're, they're like a, a gold, which is not hard to get, or a silver. That's the problem with ranked in this game. This game does not have skill-based matchmaking. And here's the problem with skill-based match, but no skill-based matchmaking. You either completely destroy the other team, or you get decimated, right? This is why you need skill-based matchmaking, right? You need skill-based matchmaking or else uh, games like this happen. Overwatch 2, if you haven't played it, is the worst ranked experience I have ever played in a shooter. It's terrible. Um, and you need skill-based matchmaking, right? That's not the problem here. But here's the thing, right? You go and you say, uh, these COD players are complaining about skill-based matchmaking, blah, 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 blah. Look at what people consider the best Call of Duty game of all time. A lot of people will say Black Ops 2, right? According to the developers themselves, Black Ops 2 had skill-based matchmaking. So why did nobody complain about it back then? Because the problem is not skill-based matchmaking, right? The, the problem is they want money they want you to keep playing the game so they have systems that allow you to get addicted to the game you go one more one more one more we're gonna win right it's not about skill base there's nothing to do with that right it's called skill based matchmaking because that's that's the term right that's the system but the system it does not work to make an even match right and especially if you're playing with friends which at least one person in your lobby probably is in a group of two, minimum. And that means that one person could be completely useless. Or completely, you know, good. Just depends. Um, and that could be on your team or the other team. And that's the pain, right? It, it just doesn't work. And there's a lot of fighting game players that just think, oh, 
you want to go 70 and 0 in every match, you're bad. Which is not the case at all, right? The problem is, um, with Call of Duty nowadays, right, you'll play a game, you'll destroy, you'll go like 30 and 1 or something, right? 50 and 2. And then the next game you play, everybody in the entire lobby is going, uh, 20 and 18, and then you'll have three guys at the bottom that are going 7 and 44, right? It's not even at all. That's the problem. Um, if you win at all, you're just going to get thrown into these lobbies, right? You can feel it. When you'll you'll always say when you're playing when you're playing COD. If you're watching someone stream, you'll say, "Oh, skill based matchmaking just kicked in," because you if you play the game, you can literally feel when skill based matchmaking kicks in. You can literally feel it. It's not on at all times. It's only on after you uh, just did really good in the game. It's there to punish you, right? And a lot of these fighting game players think, oh, since we play fighting games, and fighting games are way harder than shooters normally, right? Um, and, you know, these, these, these big popular streamers are dumb, and they don't know what they're talking about. These big popular streamers got popular because they're good at COD, or good at a, a specific game. Some of them, right? They know what they're talking about, and they know that things were not always this way, right? Uh... And there have been cause where, yes, there is no skill-based matchmaking at all, and you pummel people 70-0 to in every lobby, right? But that's not what people... People aren't saying they want that, right? Um, and maybe some are, right? But the majority of people, including me, right? Someone who's played COD for 12 years now. You just want to be able to enjoy the game and play it how you want to play it. But because of the way it works... You'll play a game, you'll do good, and then you'll be thrown into a lobby with literal people that are quadruple your level, quadruple your hours, you know. It's just, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work, especially if you're in a party. It doesn't work at all. Um, and it, it's just bad. It's just, it's just bad. And it's really hard to explain this without sounding scrubby but the problem is is that there's a lot of people who just want to be experts on it without actually playing the game that's the problem um, and it's incredibly annoying because this, this debate comes up um, and every single time the skill based matchmaking debate comes up the fighting game community wants to be a part of it right but they're, they have no right to be because fighting game uh, matchmaking is just two people it's not very hard to match make two people that are similar, especially if you're playing ranked, right? It's not that hard. There's a point system. And you either win or lose the game, right? But here's the problem. In my case, which I have videos of this on the new COD, I go like 50 and 3 in the new COD, right? And, and we lose because the rest of my team is going 7 and 34, you know, 8 and 20. I have videos of the new COD of that literally happening in the beta. Literally happening. And you can watch them. I destroy everyone. And even though I'm destroying everyone, we still lose because their team, even though I'm way better than their team, their team is way better than the rest of my team. It just doesn't work. Skill based matchmaking does not work at all in any aspect. Um, it does work if that's what they were going for, but like I said, they're, they're not going for that. They're just trying to keep you playing the game. They're trying to keep you losing. So it's all about you win a game, you lose games, you win a game, you lose games. Um, sometimes we'll get two or three wins back to back. Not normally in Battle Royale games, but in COD sometimes we'll get two or three wins back to back, right? And then um, it'll be like... It'll be Sweaty's turns to get their wins, right? So when it comes for the Sweaty's turns to get their wins, you'll go up against the Sweaty's. They'll get they'll they'll ugh, they will get their win off of you, and then you'll go back to winning, and then it'll be time for the Sweaty's to win again. So it'll match you up with the Sweaty's. They'll get they'll that is really hard to say. They will get their win, and then uh 
it's a cycle just repeats. It's all about giving you a little bit to keep playing um, to the point where you don't want to get off the game, right? Um, and that's what skill-based matchmaking is. It's not about finding even matches, right? And if you play COD, this is not like this is not a hidden thing, right? You if you play COD, you you can feel it. You play COD for one day and you can understand how it works. You win, lose, win, lose, win, lose. It's not about um, having a, a jolly good man. That was a great match, guys. You know, it's not like that at all. Because, like I said, you can have parties, right? And it doesn't take the skill of your party and combine it, right? It doesn't like even it out. No, it it just it just takes whoever did the best, and that's that, right? And like I said, ninety nine percent of the matches you're going to get into, there's going to be at least one guy in a party. Party of one, party of two, party of three, party of four, party of five. Doesn't matter. Any size party, there's going to be at least one in your game. At least one. There's usually two or three small parties, but there could be one bigger party, right? And if they're on your team, chances are you're doomed. If they're on the other team, chances are that's a free win, right? Unless they're all sweaties, right? But the average group is not going to have all sweaties. It's going to have some good players, some bad players, or maybe just one good player and three terrible players. Um... Skill-based matchmaking does not count for that, right? Um, and the reason people complain about it, right, uh, is because they, the developers actively do not listen to the community, right? If you've played the Modern Warfare 2 beta, you'll see the biggest complaints. People want um, red dots on the minimap when you shoot because yes mw2 does not have uh does not show when players shoot on the minimap even if you don't have a suppressor um and that was the number one most requested feedback and they acknowledged that it was the number one most requested feedback and they said we are not changing it that was their response we are not changing it we have our vision so if you play cod you know that there's been a struggle with the de devs not listening to the community, and this has been happening for years. People still buy the game, right? Um, not buying the game isn't going to fix the problem, because there's still going to be millions of casual players who don't even know what the devs say, and they're still going to buy the game, right? So that's not going to fix the problem. Um, so if you play COD, you understand that the, the, the developers do not listen. Um, Triarch listens, that's one of the developers, they usually listen, but the other two do not listen to you, at all. So, and that, that's the pain that the COD community goes through, right? Um, you have to play a game where you either like the game, or you don't, because if you don't like the game, they're not gonna change it. Um, which is, look, if you're in the COD community, you probably know, that the last Call of Duty, Call of Duty Vanguard, was the worst Call of Duty game to ever come out, right? It stayed that way. Why did it stay that way? Because they didn't change anything, right? It just sucked. Um, there was all the problems with it too, but they just really didn't listen at all. Man, this is some old Guilty Gear footage. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's just... That's the problem with show-based matchmaking, and there's a lot of... Um, big name fighting game uh, community members, whether they're competitors or just content creators, they still like to have a say in it, but here's the thing, um, you have to play the game to have a say, right? These guys are having a say in this debate, but because they just think, oh, skill-based matchmaking means evenly matching you against uh, another player. No, that's not what skill-based matchmaking is in the Call of Duty sense. In any other game, yeah. That's what it is, right? But in the shooters, usually in all shooters, maybe not some, but all shooters, it's just about how long can we keep you on the game. It's not about um, making it fair, right? Um, and just because you play fighting games doesn't mean that you know any better than big streamer man who plays Call of Duty, right? Because he knows more about Call of Duty than you know about fighting games. Or, you know, you know what I mean. They're both experts in their own field. So don't... Um, don't act like you, you're an expert in that field, right? 
because it's somebody that plays both, right? I may not be the best in both, but I've played both. Um, and I, I think I'm pretty good in COD, but I, I don't compete in COD, but I, I think I'm pretty good. Um, and I'm pretty good in fighting games. I compete in some fighting games, and I've had some pretty okay results. I'm not the greatest, right? But I think I'm at a point where I can uh, uh, understand what's happening in both these genres, right? I play a lot more games than you see me upload on this channel, alright? I play a lot more games. Uh, and some of these fighting game players, they don't. They only play fighting games, and that's okay, right? But when you go on scrub quotes, or when you make a giant thread just trash-talking people, acting like, oh, you just want to destroy a casual player um, who's never touched the game, and you want to have a fun time. Like, no, it's not as simple as that, right? And it really annoys me because this is not a one-time debate. This happens every single time. Um, this happened uh, for the COD beta. This happened for the launch of COD. This happens every single time a COD comes out. And skill-based matchmaking is incredibly strong. Which has been the case for the past, like, I don't know, three years, four years? Uh, and yeah, yeah, it's just... It's just pain, because Call of Duty, if you don't know, um, is actually really good. The last COD was the worst COD of all time, right? But the two before that were really good. Um, and MW2, um, from the beta, seems to be really good. That's the problem, right? These games are really good. And yes, uh, in the case of MW 2019, the one that came out three years ago, that game is the best Modern Warfare game. A lot of old heads want to say that MW2 and COD 4 is better, that's not the case. The new Modern Warfare is the best Modern Warfare. The problem is, skill based matchmaking. It crushes it. But in terms of all the content, the gameplay, it's, it's the best one. Uh, but a lot of people just want to say, Call of Duty is the same thing every year. Uh, bad game, shooter, pew pew game, bad, right? If you played the games, you realize that, yes, um, from Call of Duty Ghost to Call of Duty World War II? No, Call of Duty Ghost to Call of Duty Black Ops 4. That was about a five-year span. Most of those CODs were absolutely garbage, right? But COD has come back to their peak already, right, since 2019. And then they had Cold War, that game was amazing, and then they had Vanguard. That game was terrible, right? But they're still, they're popping off. And, and you know, as someone who plays fighting games, I, I play every type of game, right? Uh, besides sports games, those games, that those are the games you should be going up against because um, they're making billions off of them and they're literally steaming piles of browser game, pretty much. But, yeah, you know, I just, I just want to say that the, the whole discussion really annoys me because these people don't play these games at all and it's very apparent but you know some of these people they play Warzone and they think oh this is the same thing it's not the same thing uh, and most of the most of the fighting game players that play COD play Warzone and they think they just understand it that's not the, that's not the problem here Warzone is not a problem multiplayer is the problem um, and like the the big streamer that blew up for uh, complaining about skill based matchmaking was talking about multiplayer, not really Warzone, but yeah, um, yeah. It's just a, it's just a subject that I wanted to talk about because it comes up every single time a new shooter comes out, and every single time someone complains about it, uh, all these people want to act like experts, especially scrub folks, because. Complaining about skill-based matchmaking in shooters and fighting games is two completely different things that share the same name, right? And that's the problem. And people don't realize that, and they don't want to take the time to realize that because they think they're too good to play shooty pew pew game. When shooty pew pew game is pretty fun, you know? It's not the greatest thing I ever played, but it's pretty fun. Uh, and I can enjoy all these types of games without hating the other one. Unless the game genuinely sucks, like Call of Duty Vanguard, right? Um, I, I don't know what else to say, really. I, I hope I covered everything. It was just, I woke up and I saw the debate was happening again, and I saw some 
content creators, which I like watching, I like his content creators, but they just have the stupidest takes on it, and they don't play the game, and it's so obvious. And then I saw Scrum Quotes quote tweeted it, and all the people in the Scrub, scrub, scrub Quotes replies acting like they play the games, acting like, oh, shooty pew pew players are much worse than fighting game players, you just want to roll with a casual, like, it's, it's so annoying. It's such an annoying debate, because, simply because the lack of information, right? Um, and I can't believe that Call of Duty Man is more correct in this situation than fighting game player, right? That's a little wild to me. But, like, what can you expect? There's, there's ignorant people in every community, so, you know, you just gotta, gotta deal with it. Um... Yeah, so, I guess that's it, you know, I don't want to call anyone out specifically, but I just hope, you know, whoever sees this, and I, you know, maybe it, there's a chance that those, uh, fighting game content creators will see this, some of them at least, hopefully, and they'll understand that, uh, this debate is stupid, right, because you're debating about something completely different that you don't even realize. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, that's all I gotta say about that pretty much, you know, if you wanna sub, you can, you can sub, and, uh, next time, uh, play the game first. That, that would solve this debate, just play the game, just play the game for a day. Boom. You'll, you'll completely understand what you're talking about. It's just a day. So anyways, yeah, I'll probably have a, maybe a Guilty Gear video tomorrow, or a Rev2 video, or a second video, I'm not too sure yet. This video just spontaneously came out of nowhere. But I, but I just really felt the need to make this, because um, every single time, it just seems like the, the fighting game players just get away with spouting just misinformation. Because uh, none of them really play COD, and if they do, like I said, it's Warzone. And uh, I just want to hopefully stop the misinformation and this dumb debate, because it happens every single time. And every single time, they're blatantly wrong, but they want to seem correct, right? Um, Skill-based matchmaking fighting games and skill-based matchmaking in shooters are two completely different things. Please shut up and stop comparing them. Thank you. And if you're going to compare them, at least play the games. That was my TED talk. Yeah. Word up. Whatever. Subscribe. And I'm sorry the Overwatch gameplay didn't have audio. It'd be like that sometimes, but at least it rested. Um, and yeah. Peace. I'm just going to let the rest of this gameplay play out. So. Yeah, hate that I do this, never fear losing. And when I get up in the game, you're up here improving. A real problem, but I solve them all fast proof. And if you think I'm gonna fold, then you talk talking fool. Yeah, y'all wanna win, let me spin, boy. I dunk the side, I'm super fly, like I'm hanging off the rim, boy. I've been winning for my kinfo, and I put on for my city from the intro. Let's go. I put that time in, my pride is out the roof, I get that grind in. So I'ma tell the truth, I get my grind on You know the pressure make all of these diamonds I tell them get back, step back, fast track Big lap, big facts, I'm past that, yeah I'm trying to get ahead, get out the way Now move forward, stand back, now break away I'm about to bring it on I ain't never backing down Took a step up to the flag From a city, from a town I do whatever it takes I'ma go and get this oh, I'ma go and look around